Now the hot picks will hit newsstands on Friday, but we are revealing some of the real sizzlers right now. Narrowing down the most attractive and available men in America is a tough job, but somebody's got to do it and wait till you hear who tops the list. With me tonight in New York, special correspondent for People Magazine, Julie Jordan. Welcome, Ju Julie. And I have to say, there are a total of 91 eligible bachelors on People's List this year, but only one lucky man can claim that top spot. And this year's winner is, can I get a drum roll please, Charles? Mario Lopez, there he is. Certainly not a bad looking guy, but no. I'd have to imagine there is other criteria for judging the hottest bachelor out there. Julie, besides being sexy and single, what makes Mario number one? Well, we looked at this issue as kind of fun summer reading, so we wanted our cover guy to recreate the sexiest poses throughout history. Um, so Mario was game, and we needed you know, a guy who had a really good body. He's doing a chorus line on Broadway. He has a fitness book out, so I mean, he's all muscle. Um, we had him recreate Burt Reynolds in Cosmopolitan, and I gotta say, he kind of came out, it was a closed set, but he didn't need a robe or a towel, just kind of <laughs> came in, assumed the position, and <laughs> had Ooh, fun with it. We were yeah, we were just looking at that picture, recreating that photo of Burt Reynolds, and my first thought was, my goodness, how much does this guy work out? Talk about a good right. body, like you say. You know, these pictures Boy. are amazing. We, you know, he did uh, Brad Pitt in Thelma and Louise. He also did um, uh, every, every pose you can imagine. Tom Cruise from Top Gun. I mean, the muscles. <laughs> Marky Mark in the Calvin Klein boxers. I mean, yes. it's just amazing. It's hard to kind of focus on his face <laughs> when you see some of these pictures just bulging muscle. Seems like he yeah. had a good time with it I'm as so well. So glad you and, said muscle. And another, yeah, <laughs> and another, exactly, whoops, another <laughs> hunk that made people's hottest bachelors list is Jason Lewis. Right. He's the eye candy, of course, from Sex and the City and the TV show Brothers and Sisters. And it seems clear from this spread why he made the cut. Um, but other choices were m more unexpected. Take David Cook. He's the soft-spoken rocker and this season's winner of American Idol. Julie, yep. What makes David Cook a hot bachelor? Well, he's a shy one. That's kind of fun, especially for singers. You know, when they're singing to their audience, of course there's that connection. But for him, singing in front of millions of people, not a problem. But when it comes to being one-on-one -on -one with a pretty girl that he wants to ask out, he says that's kind of tough. So you know, he's still the gentleman, likes to open doors and pay for things, but um, doesn't really have the smooth moves down just yet. That's okay. He doesn't I know. Need I don't them. think he, he needs like them personally. Really... No, me either. He sounds like a nice guy. And we know that David Cook's not the only singer to have made the list. Right. There's Adam Levine, frontman for Maroon 5, and Brett Michaels, Poison's oh, yes. lead singer and star of Rock of Love. Julie, does it just go with the territory <laughs> that if you're a musician, you're hot. Well, hot and with Brett, especially he opens an act that, of men with, who have long hair. Um, for Brett, his hair defines him. Um, it's been a part of who he is over the years. And I love because he's like, I'm not afraid to admit it. You know, some year I'm going to invest in serious extensions from Europe. That is not going to be a problem for me. <laughs> he is not ashamed. No, he's not. <laughs> and, and <laughs> and we cannot forget George Clooney, of course, a oh, usual yes. suspect when it comes to these lists. Uh, Julie, is there ever going to be a hottest bachelor issue that doesn't include Clooney? Well, it'll be a really sad year <laughs> if one if one <laughs> issue we can't. You know, this year the timing just happened with him breaking up with Sarah Larson. Of course, we have to have him back because he's eligible again. You know, he's the quintessential bachelor. I don't think he's he's actually said. I don't think I'm gonna get married again in the future. So, um, like I said, many bachelor issues to come. We're hoping we'll always be able to feature George.